uh, big cigar. This is that diesel Estelle Puro that we had spoke about uh, the other day. And uh, it's early, and I've got coffee, so uh, we're going to fire this one up. That just pulls right out. And I'm going to shut it, and let's see what happens here. Seems okay. That's a Goro. Has to be. I mean, that thing is just fat as can be. And I usually don't smoke these. Wow. That is a full flavored cigar. I'm going to see if I can come over and get my coffee. God darn it. There's my coffee. All right. So we're in place. Pretty much. Diesel. That is a AJ Fernandez. And these are all mega strong plenty of smoke plenty plate mm, plenty of flavor and we have right off the bat um, the, the usual ones for these types of sticks and that is uh, coffee and uh, Deep, deep chocolate. Let's see what else we get here. Pepper. We have some pepper. And I like that. So we're in my wheel uh, in flavors that I like. Let me grab some coffee. <clears throat> I made that kind of strong to me to go with the uh, coffee uh, cigar. <sighs> this will last well around an hour. Uh, it's just big, big, big. And because it's so powerful, you're not going to uh, smoking it fast. Now, I don't know if I told every this uh, the other day that I had a package stolen off of my um, apartment. And that was, you know, how many cigars? About 35 to 40. And uh, so I, I went to uh, Thompson's and I made another um, order. And uh, I made it so that I have to sign for the packages. And this one is coming by UPS. And it will be here on Friday. So I'm paying for that service of having it three days. And what else? Um, it is a box of Gobain. Um, which is made by Aging Room. So I'm looking forward to that. They are Connecticut, Connecticut Shade, and they're packed and they're uh, Churchill's. And then I got a pack of uh, cheap uh, Trader Dax uh, in Sunrise for coffee because they really do go with coffee. So hopefully they'll be here on Friday, hmm. along with my other package that was lost down by uh, CA 
CI, I had uh, four, uh, I had 20 legends made by uh, True Estates, and those are really good cigars. I got them in a sampler, and I just fell in love with them and decided I wanted some more. So three weeks ago, they were supposed to be here. And uh, we'll see what happened if, if they got that taken care of. You can see the heavy smoke. And this is a very so, um, heavy, heavy smoke. Coils, the mouth coats it. <coughs> And uh, it's not mild by any, f s mm, it, mm, can't say it, it's a good cigar, my kind of cigar. I like them thick, I like them heavy, and uh, then I, I go in these, these uh, times that I want something mellow, so in my Go, go in my box over here behind me. Um, I've got all different types. The only thing I do not put in there are infused uh, cigars because uh, they just kill everything. So I have a, a bag that I, I keep in those. My drool, drool, um, cessates. Perfect, perfect, perfect. This takes a while to smoke. You can't just sit there and puff on it. That's why I've got the uh, coffee. Which is a very um, blend that's uh, grossed, heavy coffee. And sometimes that speech just won't go, you know. Ah. That Gordo is taking its own time. Perfect. Great flavor. If you like something that's uh, heavy, I would definitely do the diesel. And uh, a lot of the AJ blends seem to be a little bit on the heavy side. Um, for example, their H. Upman that he does is heavier than other HP uh, Upmans. Pepper through the uh, navel. Japanese. Um, that's fine. <laughs> that's fine. <clears throat> I like that. It's a really good cigar. This is the Esteli Puro. <clears throat> and that is a fat guy. Okay, I think my uh, I'm, I'm, I'm getting it over. So I'm going to end this because I don't want the uh, video to run out on me. Okay, but Anyway, that is a fabulous cigar, great burn, great flavors. Let me think, uh, tell me what you think of them.